Next up, it's the bathroom. The design concept in this space is rebellious, bold, it's controversial. I'm breaking the rules. I'm using a dark tile in a small space. They're very new, trendy, they're high gloss. They're like a burnt orange color with black and, and pink and a deep red. To make more of a feature of my dark tiles, what I'm gonna do is to have the line of the tile coming up the front of the bath. I think it actually the shelf will add an additional feature and actually increase the, the apparent width of the bath. On each wall above the bath and opposite the bath, I'm going to have large panelled mirrors that completely fill the wall. This lower mirrored panel has been cut 80mm too narrow. I'm just going to stick a little slip of tile 80mm deep along here, which will mean that the, the rest of the mirrors are in the right place. So I, I think that, that will work nicely. The styling in here is a big risk, but I think it is really paid off. I think it's going to be a winning bathroom. I love the fact you've used something new again. Mm. You've taken this striped, mm. or burnt kind of orange colour, and then you've teamed it up with mirrors to give the sense of infinity. This bathroom looks huge. Yeah, I, I'm very pleased with how, how it turned out. And you've made it fun and funky for young people. Thank you very much. That's what I was going for. Jane also gets to work on her dream bathroom. I want this room to be very warm. I want to carry the colour scheme from the rest of the house in here. So it's a lovely sandy, speckly colour tile. OK, the glass has arrived at the bathroom now. It's very exciting. Um, it's going to be fitted. It looks nice and big, which is great. I'm going to use a band of mirror all the way around the bathroom because I think it'll be look exciting and it will make the bathroom bigger. It's amazing how easy things look when they're done by somebody who knows what they're doing. Now, that's all flush with the tile, isn't it? That's great. So what's planned for the, the side of the bath here? Well, when, when all the tiling is done, um, we'll have a, a bath panel that's made to the end of the bath uh, in MDF with the rounded edges and it'd be lacquered to high lacquer in, in white. So it won't look cheap? Oh no, it won't look cheap at all. You sure? Positive. Yeah, change of plan for the design. Um, I've decided to abandon the, the, the panel at the side and to go ahead and tile the side of the bath instead. They're nice tiles and it's, it will still look very well. This would be a very romantic bathroom. Yeah, great. You sit in that bath and have a glass of white wine and little nibbles and candles. I think this bathroom has a spa-like quality. I think it's very cozy. It is luxurious and a place where you'd love to relax in the bubbles. Jane, Africa has come into the main bathroom as well with some wonderful touches. Yes, I think so. A little bit of Africa made it up onto the windowsill there. And in your and, blind. And in my blind. I love the tiles, but I love the mirror. I think it works very well. It makes the whole space feel big. It makes it large, but it also is a very useful mirror. I mean, you can see everything in that mirror. Will people not have seen this before and therefore be a bit bored with it? No, I don't think so. I think it's the detailing that makes all the difference, Neville. I think I've brought it up a notch. The final featured room in the Show House Challenge is the kitchen dining area. This room is pure and open and very simple. The kitchen is walnut, all the furniture is walnut, and the floor is walnut. In the kitchen I've got very high contrasting black gloss doors and white, and then I've got a mixture of stainless steel and the dark walnut worktops. I've even brought in the stainless steel on the faceplates of my sockets. I'm hoping some people are going to come in and say I love this. The kitchen doors are a lovely rich cream with a splashback in cream tiles that match exactly. So I've painted the walls exactly the same colour. So it can come across very sleek. Trevor. Yes. You are going to be very lucky if one of these handles isn't missing. <laughs> these are fantastic. Uh -huh, they're good, aren't they? I'm very pleased with them. I think they, they work very well with the overall effect. Very architectural. Yeah. yeah. Are you putting crocodile skin? In the kitchen? No, 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 it's not actually a real crocodile. Okay. It, it is just a, a roll print effect on a vinyl coated paper. It's washable and scrubbable, so I'm using it in place of tiles. Now, is it not going to get too masculine? Is every woman in Ireland going to run from this kitchen? No, not at all. 
So I love what you've done with the doors. I decided the cooker. It's just so subtle. It's just... Yes, I like it. I'm pleased with it. It's yeah. almost like pattern. Mm -hmm. Yes, a little, a little. But we where's the colour? The colour will be uh, in the curtains and in the accessories. So what curtains? Orange. Orange. Yeah. So that's going to be where you get the little bit of impact. Absolutely. This is a triple fuchsia light, which is going to hang low over the centre of my dining table. These uh, features the, the tall glass cones. I've got chrome bulbs inside them. Tie in quite nicely with the circular glass table below. Well, if you could move it over two metres, it would be great. Um, I think that's where it is at the moment. I don't think you need to move it sideways or anything. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're all very professional here. Take it very seriously. These pictures are made from handmade paper. I can um, make things to match any given interiors. I use dried leaves a lot, little bits of string, little seeds, anything. I wet the edges, then I pull away the extra paper. The more jagged it is, the better I like it. As soon as you stick it down, it looks so much nicer. And again, the non-standard thing that I'm bringing in here is the fact that they've got two different colours of dining chairs rather than them all being the same, because that's ordinary. Some people actually love them and some people think they're awful. It's, it's, it's not the kind of thing that you, you're not sure about. I had a friend who used to live next door to me. He said, I could be an interior designer. All you have to do if you're doing a show house is do everything beige. And everybody love it. I said, well, I don't. I am ecstatic with this kitchen. I think it's great. It has really worked. I, I really hope that people will be able to appreciate the, the design features in this kitchen and it'll win me some votes. The dining area, I think, links very well the kitchen with the living space and brings it all together as one space. I've got my injection of colour and I've kept it very intimate and I think it works very well as a social area. Trevor. Yes. Rarely would I say, I want this kitchen. <laughs> I want this Lucky kitchen. <laughs> See, I wouldn't call that funky, I'd call that more ultra sophisticated. Mm. Now this, on the other hand, is seriously funky. <laughs> it's bright and it's fresh. You pleased? Very, very pleased, yeah. Yeah, I, I think it looks fantastic. And it's simple, because you've got the down lighters here. Very dramatic. And then this whole area is so casual, and yet it links in to the living room. It's, yeah. it's become one space. Yeah. Well, that's very much what I was going for. You do realise you're probably going to scare nearly 60% of the people away. Though. <laughs> but the people, the other 40% are really going to love this. You know, whoever buys this house is going to love it. Apart from the featured rooms, Trevor's design includes a vibrant guest bedroom, a fun child's room, a fresh hallway, and some funky garden chairs. What I've achieved here is a room that's very stylish, very tailored, and a marriage of cream and walnut. I think the accessories sharpen the detail. There's a wonderful sense of restraint here with these muted tones. I went to a great deal of trouble to make sure all the creams were exactly the same colour, which allowed the walnut to shine. You've brought it through in the flooring onto the table. Again, cream and walnut. Yes. And then our little hint of Africa coming through. <laughs> yes, just a little splash. And then we've got some very unique Jane Ready artwork. Yes, well. <laughs> Even the paper in the, the pictures are the same colour cream. I think you're very strong on the detail, on the styling at the end. I'm very, very particular about detailing. but. The accessories and the detailing will only make a difference if the basics are done properly. Absolutely. Jane's design also includes a classic bedroom, a chic cream and brown guest bedroom, an African-inspired hallway, and relaxing garden loungers. <laughs>